We've had some quite interesting successes over the past few months um, in Parliament, and in part they've come because of the level of internet and social media campaigning. As you know, the Conservatives wanted to take away working tax credits from three million families, and they put that forward in the autumn statement. It required a parliamentary vote. We opposed it in the Commons, we opposed it in the, in the Lords, and eventually we defeated them on it, because as of yesterday, three million families in this country, three million families in this country would have lost a thousand pounds a year. They won't now because Labour opposed it. It's a Labour victory that they're still going to get that money this year. And when they produced the budget uh, last week, the week before, they then came out with the idea they would take away the personal independence payments from uh, those with disabilities that want to live independently and should be allowed to live independently and surely as a society we would support people with disabilities giving, giving them the necessary help in order to live as independently as they possibly can. Surely that is what a civilised society is about. And when this proposal came up in the budget I met uh, a number of people with disabilities in my own constituency. They were not only appalled, they were truly frightened of what was going to happen to them uh, immediately as a result of it. The outrage that caused it and then Ian Duncan Smith's resignation and uh, all that followed from that meant the government was forced to retreat on that. We're not totally out of the woods yet on that one but we have forced them back on that. I think campaigning is important at all times not just election time because you can begin to frame the public debate around disability, around steel, around working tax credits if you say something about it, do something about it and mobilise a lot of other people to do something about it. Isn't our political engagement in our unions, in our communities, in our Labour Party all about collectively making a voice that is a collective voice for good and a collective voice for social justice rather than saying we can't do anything about it because at this precise moment in time we don't have a majority in Parliament. We've got a big majority of people out there who agree with us that we want to live in a more socially just society.